We're going to show you how to enable and get custom thumbnails on YouTube. Watch this video all the way to the end because we're going to show you six features that you can use to make people click more on your thumbnail and get you more views. To enable custom thumbnails, let's jump onto my computer and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it. To enable your custom thumbnails, go to youtube.com head into your channel and click on YouTube Studio. Then you're going to come down to the left hand side and click on the settings tab. Go to other settings and click on advanced channel settings. You're going to come under the channel settings and click on status and features. The first thing you need to check is under your YouTube channel name, is it verified? If you're not verified yet, then you won't be able to enable custom thumbnails. We've made a video on how to verify your YouTube channel. So if it isn't verified, click on the link in the top right here and you can go onto that video and verify your YouTube channel through really quick and easy and then come back to this video. Then you can scroll down and you can see here is our custom thumbnails. Ours is enabled. If it isn't, it's going to have this enable button on the right hand side at the bottom under custom thumbnails. So if it isn't, you can click enable. And make sure that your YouTube channel is verified so that you can enable. Once it's enabled, you'll have this green bar under it. Now that we have custom thumbnails enabled, let's go over the features that you can use to make people click on your thumbnails and get you more views on YouTube. Thumbnails are so important because your YouTube thumbnails are the first thing that people are going to see. You need to make sure that the thumbnails you create are attention grabbers. Make sure they're visually attractive and they click compelling. Now far too many people get too carried away with this and start creating thumbnails that are clickbait and don't represent the actual content within the video. It's so important that your thumbnail accurately represents the video that you want people to watch. You don't want people to click on your video because of your thumbnail and then leave the video after the first few seconds. YouTube will identify this as a negative trait on your video and they'll show it to less people. So don't go out and create thumbnails that are clickbaity and that don't accurately represent the content within your video. To show you how we go about our thumbnail design, we're going to show you a quick quiz on which of these thumbnails you think you would click on. Without knowing all the details of this video, which of these four thumbnails would you click on? The two options that you're most likely to go for are C and D. The reason why you're going to click on those is they give you the most information about what you think the video is going to be about. Now these thumbnail sizes are what you'll see on a normal computer or a laptop when you're previewing YouTube. What do you think happens when we decrease the size of these thumbnails to the size that they would be represented on a mobile phone? So let's decrease that size. This is the size that you will now see represented on a mobile phone, which is the way that everyone is moving towards. More and more people are watching YouTube on their phone and less and less on their computer. With the change in size, we're probably going to err more towards C now because it's clearer and we can still read the text. If you look at thumbnail D, now that it, the size has changed, you can't read what the text is saying and you can't fully see the person that's in the picture and the information that the thumbnail is trying to represent. Now you can see how changing the size of a thumbnail can drastically change the effect that it has on the person who's previewing it. You need to take this into account when you're creating your thumbnails and not only create thumbnails for the normal size, but also consider how small it's going to be on a mobile phone. And don't forget, some people are watching YouTube on their TV. So your thumbnail is going to appear much larger on a TV. And you need to check all three of these sizes and how your thumbnail looks when it's at these three different sizes. 
So you need to make sure that you check how these three different sizes are going to affect the clickability of your thumbnail. When creating your YouTube thumbnails, you need to take into consideration when you're creating your thumbnails, make sure they are clear and compelling at all three different sizes for mobile phones, computers and TV viewing. Six features that you need to focus on when you're creating your thumbnail. Make sure your picture is in focus, it's high resolution and it's close up. Make sure that your text is descriptive and your image is high contrast and visually compelling. If your YouTube thumbnail doesn't accurately represent the content within your video, YouTube are going to negatively rank your video and show it to less people. Make sure you consider all possible placements on YouTube, whether it is in search on a computer, suggested videos on the side of another video, or on your mobile phone feed. Thumbnails are the powerful representation of your video. So make sure that you put enough time and effort into creating clear and compelling YouTube thumbnails for your videos. Now that you've enabled your custom YouTube thumbnails, we want to give you a template to save you time in creating clear and compelling thumbnails. And we've created a video just for you on this subject. Have a look at it right here. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos just like this. We'll see you in the next video.